This is Joe Gray, and we're inside the spotlight April 7th at 7.30 p.m. on Facebook Live to take the journey of a brilliant young 18-year-old latchkey kid whose life was changed after being shot and sentenced to 25 to life. Also hear the terrifying story of a young mother involved in domestic abuse and gang rape while surviving a brutal knife attack and living to publish a book about it. Come join me at 7.30 p.m. Facebook Live, April 7th, Inside the Spotlight, to hear how danger, fate, destiny, and love united Noble and Jessica Brown. But I don't have the typical, you know, hood story or ghetto child story. Um, the story that, well, I didn't have no clothes to wear. I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. I didn't know where I was going to spend the night at. That was me. You see him going to school, but you don't know what he had to go through to get to school and come back home. Those are stories that you don't tell your mother, you don't tell your mother. Chose to, you know, to do something real stupid, you know, for lack of better words. And what we chose to do that was real stupid and almost cost me my life. I ended up getting shot multiple times, two in the back of my neck, um, one in my back, and the rest of them was in my legs. And as he approached me, I remember he raised the, the knife above my head and he had the, the tip like right above my, my scalp. And I remember squeezing my eyes tight and I, I prayed to God at the moment. I just, I was like, God, I hope this doesn't hurt too much. So and when, you know, when I was healing, I, I remember thinking, you know, I vowed not to be one of those women or people in general who had turned to substance abuse or suicide after something traumatic had happened. And that was part of my, you know, the, just having that determination, having that in the forefront in my mind helped me continue on with the drive to just keep going.